So why are they called podcasts anyway? Today on App Judgment, we'll leave behind the iPod and iTunes and show you the best way to listen on your Android device. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Netflix. Go to www.netflix.com slash AJ for your free trial membership. Welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile phone app news and reviews. My name is Chris Jennings. Podcasts have become a big part of our daily lives. With interesting podcasts on a variety of subjects, we all want to have easy access to be able to get caught up wherever we are. Meet Google Listen. Google Listen is a free app developed by the people at Google Labs designed specifically for your Android-powered devices. Listen sets out to be a one-stop shop for all of your web audio needs. It allows you to search, subscribe, download, and stream content right to your phone. When you open up the app, you're presented with a home screen that provides several ways for you to access your podcast. If you're just starting out, you can tap the magnifying glass to bring up a search bar and type in any particular podcast name or just a general topic to see what podcasts are out there. Tap on a podcast that looks interesting and you're given a short synopsis of what it is as well as some listening options. You can listen to it immediately or add it to your queue to listen later. If it looks like something that you're really interested in, you can view more episodes from the same feed or subscribe and have this audio feed added to your subscription session. Back at the home screen, you can tap My Listen Items to see the items that you have lined up in your queue as well as the most recent items that have been downloaded. This can be helpful if you have a huge amount of items to listen to, but just want to hear the most recent topical feeds first. Yes. The NBA Today. The NBA Today. Here's your host, Ryan Rossillo. It's Friday. What's going on? I'm Ryan Rossillo. The NBA Today podcast on ESPNRadio.com. The subscription section lets you keep track of all of your current subscriptions and see how many unlistened to episodes you have waiting for you. From here, a long press will allow for fast removal of any feed that you're no longer interested in. Rounding out the home screen is a section of popular searches placed by other listen users and finally, a list of your most recently played podcasts. Next, we'll take a look at some customization options and my personal favorite feature of Listen. It's the ability to sync up with your RSS feeds. Right after this word from our sponsors. So, Prager, you know I spend a lot of time in the edit bay rendering. Mm -hmm. Not editing, do. rendering. Yep. So uh, that means I'm doing nothing. So I usually just kind of crack open the iPad, open up the Netflix app, and start watching a movie. And I will admit I've walked in several times mm -hmm. when you're sitting there, not yep. interacting with your iPad, but sitting back passively watching a Netflix streaming Guilty. movie. Yep. Yep. Totally. So um, lately I've been watching Exit Through the Gift Shop, one of uh, Ron Richards' favorite movies. It's of course the documentary on uh, Banksy. Now I've never, I know Banksy, and yeah. I think I'm thoroughly intrigued by like the mystery about him, yeah. what his art is, who's yeah. done it, who hasn't done it. I had no idea that there was a movie about it. Yeah. And I'm even more thrilled that it's already streaming on Netflix, mm -hmm. which means that I could just go home right now, yep. or even just go back to my desk and watch it streaming on my computer. Totally. Of totally. course, if I was at home, I could also watch it through my PS3 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or my Wii or my Xbox, or half of any other connected uh, over-the-top so device. So many devices yeah. right now. Yeah, and totally. it's great, so you can watch it from you know your iPad, your phone, yeah. or on your big screen TV or your yep. computer. Yep. You can watch as many movies as you want. Shipping is always free, and there's never any late fees or due dates. Keep the movies as long as you want. And what's great is that uh, there's, you have shipping centers almost everywhere, so you mm -hmm. get almost any movie overnight. Uh, including tons of amazing high-quality Blu-ray discs. As an App Judgment viewer, you can get a free trial membership simply by going to www.netflix.com slash AJ. So definitely try it out. You could be watching this Banksy movie within probably a minute or so. Not even a minute, a few yeah. seconds. Do it. And we're back. Now let's check out some of the more advanced features of Google Listen. If you use Google Reader to keep track of your RSS feeds, you're familiar with the interface and how you're able to mark the feeds and have them marked as read or unread. Well, with Google Listen, your podcast subscriptions will automatically show up in your Google Reader feed in a folder called Listen Subscriptions. Next to the name of each feed is a number notifying you of how many unread, or in this case, unlistened podcasts you have. Simply click on the feed you want and click the play button to start listening right in your browser. Best of all, since these Google products talk to each other in the cloud, the next time you open the app on your phone, it will automatically recognize that you already listened to the podcast in Reader. It's the ultimate Google synergy. Finally, for advanced users, 
Google Listen allows for some tweaking under the settings options to optimize speed and battery life. For example, you can tell it to automatically refresh your feeds every hour, every day, or only when you manually tell it to. If you're concerned about draining your battery with all the syncing, just set new downloads to only occur when your phone is charging. Stuck on a slow data connection? You can only download content when connected to Wi-Fi. Store your entire podcast collection or save storage space by only keeping the most recent on your list. Listen does a fantastic job of customizing the experience for even the pickiest of users. So let's recap. If you're immersed in the Google world like I am, this is the best podcast listening experience that I've found, especially if you aren't into iTunes or manually syncing via USB. Listen gives you the flexibility to organize and enjoy your podcast on the go, but it's also nice to be able to get the same experience when you're back in front of your computer in Google Reader. The interface is simple, straightforward, and has detailed feed descriptions, but it also has fairly large thumbnails for each feed, so you can recognize them at a quick glance. However, there are a few downsides. The main limitation is the podcast library. Sure, all of your popular podcasts will be there, but for more obscure feeds, they're not going to be found. Speaking of finding things, the search functionality sometimes gets the job done, but it's frustrating to search for a podcast that you know exists and come up empty. Or you might search for a topic and a feed comes up that has nothing to do with that topic. The app is also tagged with the Google Labs label. Google always loves to remind us that Labs is a playground for engineers and you should wear your safety glasses when using the app. In other words, don't blame them if there are bugs. Well, all shortcomings aside, I really love this app personally and I find myself using it every day. The bottom line is, if you have an Android phone and you listen to podcasts regularly, you should be using this app. It's free, you've got nothing to lose. Download this app. Once again, my name is Chris Jennings, and if you feel like you found a better Android podcasting app, feel free to tell us about it. You can reach me personally via Twitter at Jennings Christ, or send App Judgment a shout on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our home at revision3.com. And while we're at it, how about finding a better name for podcasts? Any ideas? I mean, Droidcast, Googlecast, there's got to be something out there that's better than podcast, right? I mean, right? There's got to be.